the first thing you're going to want to do is get a pork loin and just make sure that you trim it. Try to get all the silver skin off of it so that it really absorbs your flavor and your seasoning. I'm going to marinate my pork loin before I season it. I'm making a quick mojo type marinade and then I'm going to marinate the pork loin for about an hour. If you want, if you have time, you can do it for up to 24 hours. The longer, the better. So the first thing I wanna do is just squeeze some fresh lime juice. Not only does this tenderize the meat, but it really adds a lot of life and a lot of zest to the marinade. And if you're short on time or you can't find limes, then just use lime juice, it's okay. Then to temper the lime juice down a little bit, I'm gonna just use some fresh orange juice. And this can be already made or from concentrate, it's okay. You can do whatever you want. Remember, you're in charge in your kitchen. You cook how you want. Don't worry if you get a little pulp in there. It's totally fine. It's just more flavor. And now after that, I'm just gonna add a little bit of coarse kosher sea salt. You can do this to taste. I like a lot of salt, so that's what I do but feel free to do what you want. Then I'm taking a little bit of dried oregano and I'm gonna add that in there. It's gonna give it some of those herbaceous notes and really play off the natural sweetness of the pork. I have a little mixture of onion powder, cumin, and thyme. And I'm gonna put that in there. Now I'm gonna crush some garlic really quick while this sits. I'm gonna give it a stir though, just so it kind of gets everything in there. I'm not gonna add my oil just yet to this marinade because I really want everything to marry without getting suspended. I wanna make sure all those flavors are really, really in there. Now for a hack for this, you can already use minced garlic or you can use garlic paste. I'm just gonna do some fresh garlic because I know that this is gonna be marinating for a while. And then a quick way of getting rid of the garlic shells is you can put these into a soda can or a container and add some water and just shake. And the husk should just come right off. I'm not using that many today, so I don't mind peeling it. It also adds to the excitement. It's like little garlic presents. <laughs> now, another thing you can do for this recipe is you can do roasted garlic. If you want the sweeter side of the garlic and the less astringent side, so feel free to do that. I like this recipe because it's something that I started doing uh, when I was in college actually, and I would use leftovers. So another fun thing about doing these bowls is that you can use leftovers. Whatever leftover meat you have, if it's a pork chop, if it's pieces of ham, anything works in this recipe. And if you find that the garlic husk is sticking to your fingers, all you have to do is just add a little bit of water and it'll come right off. Now these don't have to be pretty when we're cutting them. You can just cut them however you want, whatever size you want. It really is up to you. So I'm making mine pretty rough, but then I'm gonna go back in and really shorten them, make them small, because I want them to be able to spread across the tenderloin as it's marinating it. And you can cut up a lot of garlic because you might wanna garnish your bowl later with it, so. That's about perfect for me, so I'm happy. You can make them bigger or smaller, however you want. There's no actual formal science to this. And then I'm just going to scrape them and put them right into the marinade. So now I have all my ingredients for my marinade, except for my olive oil, which I'm gonna put in right now. It already smells delicious. And if you feel like you're kind of oil heavy, you can always pick it up with a little more lime juice, which is what I'm gonna do right here. And one of the good things is you can save some of the marinade that doesn't touch your pork, and you can actually use it as a sauce at the end of the meal. So now just stirring that up really nicely. 
I always like to use a Ziploc bag when I marinate just because it saves space inside your refrigerator or wherever you're at. You can stack things and you know that they're not gonna leak. So that's what we're gonna do here. Just make sure that your bag is zipped tightly so that you don't get a little surprise when you start shaking it. Now, because I'm making this recipe in a hurry, I'm only gonna marinate this for about 30 to 45 minutes and then we are gonna put it on the grill. My pork has been marinating and now I'm gonna put it on it before I take it out to the grill. Just shake off any excess so that you can make sure that your rub really sticks to this. I don't mind the garlic pieces being on there because that's just more flavor. I'm gonna be using my own rub and it's paprika, cane sugar, mustard powder, granulated garlic, and salt, and a little bit of black pepper. And rubs are really fun to make. Just get creative, use whatever you have, and just keep trying it until you hit on something that you like. Just be careful if you do have brown sugar in your rub, it may clump, so just be aware of that when you make it. It might not last that long. And we wanna make sure that we just coat every single side. It doesn't have to be pretty, it just has to be covered. So now I'm gonna let this rest for about 15 minutes and then I'm gonna go put it on the smoker. So I like to cut mine into just little medallions and then we're gonna chop it up into little smaller pieces to decorate our pork bowl. Feel free to do it however you wanna do it or more importantly, however you wanna eat it. Cute little pieces. Next, we're gonna make a crema, a cilantro crema, which is one of my favorites, and it's really simple. All you have to do is use either Mexican crema, or you can use sour cream, or you can even use mayo. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of cilantro, just to add a little fun in there. Some lime juice. And another thing, if your limes start feeling kind of tight when you're trying to squeeze them, just pre-roll it. So before you cut your lime, just give it a good firm roll and it should make it juicier when you cut it. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of coarse salt to this. And all you wanna do is stir it up, get it nice and mixed in. And then you can add a little more cilantro, just for fun. And if you have people that don't like big pieces of cilantro, you can put this all in a food processor and blend it. It'll start turning a little bit of like a green color, but it's still delicious. All right, my crema is done. And now I just need to get onto some black beans and we're gonna be ready to make this bowl. One of the things I did, I made some turmeric rice, and basically this is just chicken broth, turmeric powder, a little bit of garlic powder, and rice. And if you wanna do a cheat like I did, you can just use the boil in the bag. Nobody's gonna judge you, except for maybe your mom. <laughs> All right, so let's get on to these black beans.
everything's ready, let's eat. <laughs> it's so much fun to make these bowls. They're fun for everybody. And they're a little messy. <laughs> And the fun part is you can decorate it however you want. So whatever you want to do, you can do. I've actually made some pickled onions. It's very simple. It's just red onions, distilled vinegar, and salt. Let it sit in a bag overnight and they're delicious. And they smell great too. It can't be a fiesta without a lime, so I'm definitely gonna cut that up. Then sprinkle a little bit of cilantro on this wherever you want. I think I'll mix mine lightly over everything. And then I'm gonna take a dollop of my cilantro crema. I'm just gonna put it right on the side. So you can mix it in however you like. I'm gonna strain my beans a little bit because I don't want them to be too soupy. They're delicious. And I love the little pieces of shredded ham. Like I said, I'm the queen of using leftovers. If I can repurpose an old meal into a new one, I definitely will. My parents taught me not to waste. <laughs> All right, and there you go. Dinner is served. Oh.